Okay, I'm getting really, really, really pissed off with this IPC tower. Um, these computers are scheduled to be donated, possibly on the 18th, or possibly the 20th of August. We got an IBM 300, uh, 300, uh, 300 GL and two IBM, I mean, and two Dell Optiplex GN Plus computers. I've decided to keep the third one because, well, it goes with the Dell monitor that I have stored back there. And I'm getting really stressed out with this damn IPC computer because every time when I try to put an operating CD inside, like an operating system CD. It's not even like it does go to the setup screen, but it freezes. Like it just freezes at a point and then doesn't even go any further. It just stops right there. It said setup is loading files, setup font. It's been saying that for a while now. Nothing's been happening. Like I was here a couple hours ago and I come back and it still says that. So I, I try a different CD drive, same thing. I try a different CD, same thing. Nothing is happening. It just freezes right there on the spot. So, I'm going to do one of the common easy things. So take the clock battery out. And to be honest, this computer actually has a couple blown capacitors. Well, not fully blown, but pastors that uh, look like that they're about to blow, like they have the little bumps on them. And when a capacitor has a bump on it, that's well, a sure sign that they're going to blow. Now, who would put a goddamn video card over top of the friggin' clock battery? Oh, something is biting me. I keep itching. Uh, I gotta get the screwdriver. Yeah, this IPC tower is giving me one hell of a problem. It's not working the way I want to. Okay, you damn clock better, you're gonna come out one way or the other. Clock batteries really piss me off. You gotta pry them out. Honestly, I'm getting pissed off with this. I don't like doing the hard work. Okay, here we have the clock battery easy to take out sometimes honestly no matter what I no matter what I do I put a new hard disk in nothing I put a new CD drive in nothing I try different CDs still nothing I switch RAM sticks nothing nothing is even working no matter what I try no matter what I do it just doesn't work it freezes every time when I get to the friggin uh, Windows setup screen and I'm getting really sick and tired of this I'm not happy so gotta wait for a few minutes and then we'll be back okay a couple minutes later we're gonna try again clock battery still out because we don't want it in there and if this doesn't work I'm gonna have to scrap this computer and then take the power supply that's in this computer and put it in the VIG uh, yeah in the VIG computer so the VIG will live again and I'll donate that so this big clunky piece of shit with the stupid door on it I don't like this computer used to 
worked just fine, but now it doesn't. For an old screen, this thing actually works. Like, it's bright. Very, very bright. I like how bright the screen is. Okay, you dumbass. F1 to continue. Oh, shit. I gotta set the friggin' boot options. What the hell is this? This computer really has some serious issues. I hated the nor uh, the damn Orion computer, now I hate this computer. What the hell? It's not even turning on now. Oh, she's dead. Damn it. I killed the friggin' IPC tower. Oh, fuck. That fucking sucks. Oh, I didn't. Okay, time to check the, or set the boot priority. BIOS feature setup. Okay. That should do it. Save and exit setup. Damn bastard better work because I'm getting pissed off of it. But like I said, if it keeps freezing on me, I'll take everything that's in this computer and put it in the VIG. Take the CD-ROM, put it in there, put everything in there and just throw the set on the curb. As if it keeps freezing on me, I guess there's nothing to do uh, nothing I can do. It didn't even boot to the CD drive, what a turd. What a fucking turd bird. I hate this computer. There is a disc in there. I have a Windows 2000 disc in there. It detects that there's a CD-ROM, but... Yeah, I don't have the boot option set correctly. Well, I got the damn Orion computer working fine. It's all ready to go. It's running Windows Whistler. Build 2296 Beta 1. Okay, I guess I'll set the CD-ROM to first. I don't know why that helps. I think I should have done that in the first place. Yes, okay. Okay, she's done for. Still, nothing. It's frozen, so. She's scrap. Take the CD drive out, and take everything else out. Yep, including the power box. VIG gets a power box. It's been waiting for this moment. So, goodbye, uh, IPC.